back in to another vlog. Me is off to absolutely brilliant start. So the combine, how did I play? What do I improve upon? Did I make a statement on the pitch when I played? I'm gonna talk to you guys really about the combine whatsoever since it concluded in the middle of June. So it's been a good three weeks since the last time I talked to you guys about the combine itself. So to begin today's vlog, I'm gonna give you guys uh, the results of the combine that I received from PSC last week in regards to how I played and what I improve upon on the pitch. Quick little sign up before we hop into the main section of the combine results itself. PSC sends each player their own personalized feedback. So this part I'm gonna show you guys right now, read you guys, is the part that has the positive feedback. Not the negative yet, but the positive. So I'm gonna show you guys the negative after that, but this first part, again, is the positive stuff they liked about me as a player. So let's dive in here. All right, so here we go here. This is uh, the positive attributes again, or the strengths as they call in regards to what they saw at the combine, PSC point of view, standpoint, whatever you want to call it. This isn't the most entertaining thing to listen to in the world, so I'll try to make it as fun, as energetic as possible so you guys aren't bored to death for the next few minutes. So my positive attributes as... <clears throat> A player, excuse me. Coaches very much liked his competitiveness, liked to challenge, always giving his opponent a hard time on the field. Strong, tall, starting back, who wants some great 1v1 duels in the air and on the ground. You have great size and physique for a soccer player and possess the natural ability, the natural athletic ability to push on to the higher levels in the game. All right, all right. Shows genuine leadership qualities, good communication, and confidence with his teammates. Played great balls out from the back to put your teammates on the front foot. Showed comfort with both shorter balls in the feet and balls over the top in the space for forwards to chase and run onto. Coaches appreciate defenders who can comfortably play out from the back, retain possession, and implementing attacks for the team. There were many times, especially on day one and day two, where you intercepted passes for the forwards and then played positive balls in the feet for your attacking players. So, those are the positive attributes of the combine itself. I'll put the results on the screen for you guys right now so you can check it out for yourself if you are interested. But now is the time where we talk about the negative side of the combine, things I didn't do well, things they thought I need to improve upon. I'm not going to read you guys those results because I don't feel like translating that same enthusiasm as I had before reading the positive attributes into the negative attributes. So, the negative attributes are coming on the screen right now. You guys can read it for yourself if you are interested. I would say there's at least four or five professional teams that are in attendance at this specific combat event on the west coast of Florida back in the middle of June. But unfortunately, I'm not signed with any of those teams that were in attendance. I could come up with 100 different reasons or excuses why I didn't play well, why I didn't get signed, yada, yada, yada. I could say that I had a torn hamstring or a fractured knee back in January. I could say that I didn't play a game in eight months. I could say that it was too hot or too cold. Blah, 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 blah. But frankly, that's all <laughs> What it comes down to is I didn't play well enough to stand out. That's simple. That easy to understand. If I want a chance to go pro guys, a realistic chance to be a pro soccer player, I need to fine tune my game really every single aspect of my game. I have a lot of flaws to fine tune. Trust me, it's not about finding excuses to your problems, it's about finding solutions. And I'm gonna grind every single day until I find those solutions. But on a different note, more positive note, I'm now signed with an agent. I signed with an agent a few weeks ago, so hopefully this guy can help me find a team, find a club, and uh, hopefully sign with one in the near future. But it's that time of the day, guys. The first workout of the day is about to commence. I'm 
I still love you. And I'm like, I'm just, I mean, this is exhausting, you know? Like, we are never getting back together. Oh, Well guys, kind of an abrupt end to an overall good session shooting wise, but the weather's kind of coming in hot here, coming in fast, and I'm not trying to get struck by lightning and uh, die here. So this is where the field session is gonna come to an end. If you guys are wondering though, I do maybe a shooting session once or twice a month, just kind of based off the fact that I'm still trying to maintain my technique, even though I'm a center back. Center backs do score goals. But so we are done on the field today. I'm gonna go in the gym now and uh, do kind of like an interval session. We're gonna do a mile, hop off, do 40 push-ups, 40 sit-ups, a mile again, hop off, do 40 push-ups, 40 sit-ups, and then a mile again. Again, so three miles total, and then 80 push-ups, 80 sit-ups in between those uh, miles. So I'm gonna try to do it in under 30 minutes. A few moments later. was a lot of food guys that was a lot of food to consume for the final meal of the day but we ate pretty much all of it to be honest with you uh, today is the fourth of july so you got to indulge a little bit and uh, celebrate the fourth of july the right way by overindulging with food but we had bratwurst tonight we had carrots we had zucchini we had pasta we had tater tots we had corn and pretty much every other food item you could imagine we consumed tonight for the fourth of july but it's one final thing though before we end this video and that is make sure to leave a comment down below in regards to what you want to see for future videos i have a lot of ideas of my own but i want to hear from you guys and what you want to see on this channel for the future so speak your mind i want to hear from each and every single one of you but that's gonna wrap up today's video guys if you liked it enjoyed it make sure to subscribe help us out the channel comment like share and as always i'll check you guys in the next vlog Dude. Uh, one thing about music when it hits you feel no pain